Particular countries and regions vary in the intensity and focus of their concerns. ISIS is clearly the primary concern among the issues tested in Europe. Many Europeans also see climate change as a major threat to their countries. In the Asia-Pacific, the Islamic State group and global warming rise to the top as major concerns, but a median of roughly half 52% also worry about cyber attacks. A median of 47% across the region say China's power and influence is a major threat. Among people across the Middle East and North Africa, ISIS is the top threat in four of the five countries surveyed, including 97% who name it as a major threat in Lebanon. People in the Middle East are also concerned about the condition of the global economy and the power and influence of the U.S. in sub-Saharan Africa. People are most concerned about climate change, but other threats such as the refugee crisis, ISIS, cyber attacks and the global economy are concerns of around half or more across the six nations surveyed. Regionally, Latin Americans show the greatest concern about climate change. It is the top threat in six of the seven nations surveyed. But they also worry about the global economy. In all Latin American nations surveyed, including Venezuela and Brazil, two nations that have seen economic hardships recently, at least half say that the condition of the global economy is a serious threat to their country. For more on economic and political problems in Brazil, see how Brazilians view their country's economic and political crises. In Europe and U.S., ISIS is seen as a major threat across 10 European nations, the U.S., Canada and Russia. Majorities in most countries name ISIS as a serious threat to their countries. This includes a median of 74% across the European countries who say that ISIS is a major threat to their nation. The same number in the U.S. 74% name ISIS as a top threat to their country. Relative to the other threats tested, people are especially worried about the Islamic State group in France 88%, Italy 85% and Russia 58%. While ISIS is the top threat in most of these countries, global climate change is also a pressing concern, especially in Spain 89%, Sweden 64% and Canada 60%, where this issue tops the list. Across the 10 EU countries, a median of 64% say global climate change is a major threat. A slim majority in the U.S. 56% see global climate change as a major threat. While half or more in seven of these 13 countries see cyber attacks from other countries as a major threat, in no country is it named as the top threat. Still, in the U.S. and Germany, both countries that have been targets of major attacks over the past year 71% and 66% respectively see cyber attacks as a major threat. And across the 10 European countries, 54% say cyber attacks are a major concern but only around a third in Russia's agree 34%. The large number of refugees coming from places like Iraq and Syria is named as the top threat in only one European country, Hungary, where 66% say the movement of refugees is a major threat. Worries about the refugee threat have somewhat abated in Europe over the past year. In spring 2016, a median of 49% said refugees were a major threat, compared with 41% who say this in 2017. Fewer people in Europe see the condition of the global economy as a major threat. But in Greece, which has been mired in economic crisis for close to a decade, 88% name the global economy as a major threat, making it the topmost choice in that country. And 72% in Spain share the same level of concern about the economy. While Russia's power and influence are not named as the greatest threat in any of the countries polled in Europe or North America, there is particular concern in Poland 65% and 47% in the U.S. see Russia's as a major threat, but there is a partisan divide 61% of Democrats say Russia's power and influence is a major threat, compared with only 36% of Republicans. Across all of Europe, a median of 41% perceive Russia's as a major threat. U.S. power and influence is seen as a major threat by a median of 31% across Europe. Spain, however, is an outlier, with 59% worried about the U.S. and six European countries surveyed and Canada. Worries about American power and influence are up since 2016. For more on this trend, see here. China's power and influence are seen as a major threat by a modest median of 3 in and across Europe. Demographic divides in Europe, U.S., Canada and Russia on top threats within the countries of Europe and North America. Concern over many of the listed threats differs substantially between demographic groups. One of the starker divides is that of political ideology. The most significant differences by ideology are on the refugee threat. In all of the countries surveyed in Europe and North America, those on the political right are more concerned about the large number of refugees coming from the Middle East than those on the left. 
For example, in Germany, 51% on the right say that the movement of refugees is a major threat, versus only 14% who say this on the political left. A similar divide exists in the U.S. between self-described conservatives 60% say refugees are a major threat and liberals 14%. In Europe, there is also a pattern of more concern about the refugee threat from those who favor right-wing populist parties. In France, for instance, supporters of Marine Le Pen's National Front FN are roughly twice as likely to be concerned about the refugee threat 65% as are those who do not support FN 32%. Similar divides exists between supporters and detractors of Alternative for Germany AFD the United Kingdom Independence Party the Party for Freedom PVV in the Netherlands and the Sweden Democrats. A similar right-left divide also exists for those who see ISIS as a major threat. In Canada, 59% on the right say that ISIS is a major threat, compared with only 33% of those on the left. Significant political divides on the ISIS threat also exist in the U.S. at 22 percentage point difference and seven other EU countries. On the threat of global climate change, there is a reverse pattern, with those on the political left in some countries more concerned about it than those on the right. This is most stark in the U.S., where 86% of liberals say climate change is a major concern, versus only 31% of conservatives. But this left-right divide also exists in Canada, the Netherlands, the U.K., Sweden and Germany, though not to the same extent as in America. In views of ISIS as a threat, there is also a divide by age. In seven countries in Europe, North America and Russia, people ages 50 and older are much more concerned about the threat from the extremist group than are the young. For example, in the Netherlands, 78% of people 50 or older say that ISIS is a major threat to their country, while only 46% among Dutch youth say the same. And on the refugee threat, there is a significant educational divide in all of the countries surveyed in Europe and North America. People with a secondary education or less tend to be more worried about an influx of Middle Eastern refugees, compared with people who have more education. The divides are particularly large in the UK 21 percentage points and France 20, where educational splits played a large role in recent national elections and referenda. In Asia-Pacific, views of top threats vary across seven Asia-Pacific nations surveyed, a median of 62% see ISIS as a major threat and 61% see global climate change in the same light. About half across the region see cyber attacks and Chinese power as a major challenge. Fewer are very concerned about the global economy, refugees or American and Russian power. However, threat assessments vary considerably across the region. ISIS is seen as the top threat in Indonesia, the Philippines and India, though ISIS also tops the list in Australia, there are similar concerns about climate change as a major threat. Japanese are most concerned by cyber attacks from other countries. South Korea and Vietnam, for their part, rate China's power and influence as the top threat facing their nations. Concern about refugees from countries like Iraq and Syria, as well as Russia's power and influence, is quite low across the Asia Pacific region. Worries about U.S. power and influence, meanwhile, vary substantially. Majorities across South Korea, Japan, and Indonesia see American power as a major threat. In Australia, the Philippines, Vietnam, and India, roughly a third or less see the U.S. in a similar light. In Australia, there are significant ideological differences in views of global threats. These divides are widest on global climate change and ISIS, compared with people on the right, those on the left are 52 percentage points more likely to see climate change as a major threat to Australia, but 42 points less likely to say the same about ISIS. Australians on the left are also more likely to see American power and influence as a major threat, but worry less about refugees and cyber attacks. In Middle East and North Africa, overwhelming concern about ISIS across the Middle East and North Africa, ISIS is seen as the leading threat in all four countries in which the item was tested. This sentiment is nearly universal in Lebanon, with 97% saying ISIS poses a major threat to their country. Large majorities in Tunisia 79%, Jordan 76%, and Israel 63% agree. While the condition of the global economy does not rise to the top of the list in any one country, a median of 59% across the region feel it poses a major challenge and it is the second highest international concern in Lebanon, Tunisia and Jordan. A median of 50% in the region are very threatened by U.S. power, 48% by refugees and 44% by climate change. Fewer see cyber attacks median of 40%, Russian power 35% or Chinese power 20% as major threats.
A year after a failed coup attempt blamed at least in part on the U.S., 72% in Turkey say American power and influence is a major threat to their country. This figure is up 28 percentage points since 2013, when just 44% named U.S. power and influence as a major threat. People in Turkey are also worried about the refugee issue 64% major threat, which has spilled over their borders in recent years. Israel stands out among the Middle Eastern countries surveyed for its lower levels of concern about each international threat tested. While 63% of Israelis see ISIS as a major threat, about four in ten or fewer name any other issue as a major challenge. Within Israel, Jews are more concerned than Arabs about refugees from places like Iraq and Syria 44% versus 22%, ISIS 66% versus 53% and Russian power and influence 29% versus 19%. In Lebanon, views of U.S., Russian and Chinese influence break along religious lines. A large majority of Shiites 67 percent feel threatened by U.S. power and influence. Fewer Lebanese Sunnis 44 percent, and Christians 35 percent feel the same way. These views align with overall views of the U.S. Only 7 percent of Shiites have a favorable opinion of the U.S., compared with 36 percent of Sunnis and 59 percent of Christians. When it comes to Russian power, concerns flip Sunnis 56% are more likely to see Russia's power and influence as a major threat than are Christians 32% and Shiites 13%. In Latin America and Africa, climate change is top threat. Pew Research Center surveys have shown consistently high concern about climate change in Latin America and Sub-Saharan Africa. Today, climate change is seen as the top international threat in six of seven Latin American countries surveyed and four of six Sub-Saharan African countries. In Latin America, a median of 74% name global climate change is a major threat to their country. Chileans are particularly concerned about climate change, with 86% saying it poses a major threat to their nation, followed by Peruvians 79% and Argentines 76%. A median of 61% name the condition of the global economy as a major concern and 54% name cyber tax. Rounding out the top five threats are U.S. power and influence median of 47 percent, and ISIS 40 percent. Few see refugees median of 31 percent, Chinese power 25 percent or Russian power 23 percent as a large threat. Venezuela is the only Latin American country surveyed in which economic worries match the level of concern over climate change. A majority of Venezuelans 56 percent name the condition of the global economy as a major threat, virtually tied with the 55 percent who say the same about climate change. In five of the six remaining Latin American nations surveyed, the condition of the world economy ranks as the second greatest threat. Concern about U.S. power is relatively low in Latin America, but this is not the case in Mexico. Roughly 6 in 10 Mexicans say U.S. power and influence is a major threat to their country, which comes amid steep drops in U.S. favorability and confidence in the U.S. president in Mexico. In sub-Saharan Africa, a median of 58 percent believe global climate change is a major threat to their country. Climate change is the top international threat in Kenya 76 percent, Tanzania 64 percent, South Africa 59 percent and Senegal 56 percent. Closely trailing climate change is concern about refugees from places like Iraq and Syria median of 55%, ISIS 54%, Cybertax 53% and the condition of the global economy 51%. Ghana and Nigeria are the only two nations in sub-Saharan Africa whose preeminent worry is not climate change, they instead see ISIS as their top threat. And on the economy, more than half in Kenya 70%, Tanzania 61% and Nigeria 53% are concerned. There is little concern throughout sub-Saharan Africa about the power and influence of the U.S., Russia or China. In no country does even half the population name these issues as a major threat.